Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and the first question is how many flagella does dinoflagellates have? And here is the variants to choose from. Take a look at this picture. Here is a ventral view and dorsal view. Dinoflagellate consists of two parts. One we call episeca and another one hyposeca. They are made of cellulose and protect this unicellular most primitive eukaryotic organism. Dinoflagellates live in water and in order to move they use two flagella. One we call longitudinal flagellum and another one we call transverse flagellum. Transverse flagellum stay in special groove in about equator of the cell and we call this groove cingulum. So as you see the correct answer is answer B. Dinoflagellates has two flagella. And second statement, a centric diatom has radial symmetry. Is it true or false? Take a look at this picture. Unlike dinoflagellates, which protected by cellulose walls, diatoms protected by silica dioxide, major constituent of the sand. In pure form it is quartz or glass. In order to communicate with outside world, they have small holes which arrange in the rows. Like brown algae, they have chlorophyll A, chlorophyll C and fucosantin as photosynthetic pigments. And we divide them into two groups, one bilaterally symmetric or pinnate, which you see on this picture and another radially symmetric or centric. So the statement a centric diatom have radial symmetry is true statement. Answer A. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.